Good day viewers, Sepp here, and this is part two of the Ranger and trying to get it started. So where we left it off was we think this coil is crook, but we haven't completely ruled out other issues. So this mower also has a set of points and a condenser which are located behind this flywheel. So to get to it, this has to come off. Now the way you can tell whether you've got points of condenser in your machine is this coil has a wire underneath here, I'll give you a close up in a minute, that runs in under the flywheel. It also has a wire which comes out and runs around to the switch. I'll give you a closer look at that. So there's the wire that runs in under the flywheel and this is the other wire which comes around through here, down here, and that's your dead man switch. So when you activate the throttle, close it, start it, etc., that moves that part there, right there, which then earths this out. So the next part of the process is we're going to get this off. first thing we've done is I've unscrewed these four screws which are on top of this holding this down. We've removed this now and then I've put these four screws back in. Now if we don't do that, when we unscrew this, this will separate and there's all ball bearings in here which allow this to spin and lock and they'll all fall out. So we put the screws back in and then we're going to use a special tool I've made which is this which slips over the top of this. Two pins there go over the top, hole in the centre. It goes over the top there. And that locks onto the side of each, each side. And we're going to hold that down and we're going to hit this with a hammer that way. And hopefully it'll release. But first of all, what we need to do before we do that is we need to hold the shaft. So the way I've done that, I'll give you a look. All I've done is I've got a pair of still sitting on the shaft down here, up against the side of the machine. That'll stop the shaft and the motor from turning and allow us to unlock it. So we'll see how we go. I always pair, put a pair of gloves on just to make sure if I slip, I don't take all the skin off your hands. So we've got that, hopefully you can see that. What I do now, I'll take it back a bit so you can see. So all I need to do now is put a bit of pressure down on it and then give this a whack. And hopefully it just cracks loose. Yes, it has. Well, that's good. So we'll just take this off next. And then we're going to tackle the flywheel. That's it there. So I'll just put that down. So the first thing we're going to do is I've got a few tools together. Tap and die. And these holes here, I'm going to just tie him up a bit so I can get some bolts in there with the puller and we'll pull this flywheel off. So just give it a bit of a quick clean, both of them. These are quarter inch, back in the old, not metric, back in the old AF days. So that's going in pretty easy anyway. So I've got that clear for the bolts. Now, I've got a puller here, a bit of a makeshift thing to 
make it all work. So all we do now is, you now there's probably plenty of other methods of how to do this and banging them with hammers and all sorts of stuff. But if I've got the tools, I thought, well, may as well use the right tools. I know it's a bit slower, but I'm in no rush. So I'll just tighten this down a bit. And it should just ease off. Sometimes they'll pop off. Sometimes they'll ease off. I'll add a bit of, there's obviously been a bit of lubricant down there from when I used to lubricate the top bearing, bearings, the pull, pull shaft bearings. But we'll see, I'll just get them on. Okay, so that's it. Now all I do, put that on top. Hopefully you can see that. And we just wind it up. Now I've already cracked it before. This is just for display purposes. So then I just wind this down and it just pops off. Nice and easy. Just a little bit time consuming. We'll get this off. We'll lift this flywheel off and we'll give you a look at it. So let's have a look underneath. Just watch your keyway there. Don't lose your keyway. Just sitting on the edge there. There it is there. Now the next part of the process will be to get these three nuts bolts out. Take this top off. I'll give it a wipe off first and we'll see what these um, points and condenser look like. Okay, let's have a look under it. There's a bit of sealant there for these wires to go in. Sealing them off. Jeez. Jingies, it's like brand new. Okay. That there's the condenser, that there's the points, and right in the guts there, there's supposed to be a gap, and they're supposed to be cleaned. So we're going to have a look at that in a minute. So we're just going to clean those points in between there. We'll run a little bit of sandpaper, there's a little bit of 240, grit sandpaper. we we'll pull it through a couple of times. So it looked good in there. I've just got the points set up in the closed position. And you do that by rotating the shaft. I can do it from underneath here. Just rotate the shaft there. And that moves the points backwards and forwards. So I've got them in a closed position. So you can um, run the sandpaper through a little bit. So it works a little bit better. And just put the screwdriver in there to open them up. Just pull that through. Also, while we're here, I'm going to clean these wires off. So you can see there's two wires that attach to this. One comes out, comes into the coil. The other one comes out, which is the, the kill switch, which looks pretty ordinary through here. I'm not sure if the wires, if the wires are earthing, it won't get a spark. And we'll have a bit of a look at that, and make sure that's all okay. This looks pretty clean and good inside. So I'll give this a clean. I'll give this a bit more of a um, clean with some metho, just in amongst those points, and that'll be done. So I've just got a little bit of metho on a bit of paper. Just open those points back up. Just let them sit on the points. Just slightly drag it off. I'm not sure you can see that, but there's some black mark on there. That'll clean them off. Okay, that should do that. Next thing we'll do is we'll adjust them.